Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would just do like a chit chat vlog to kind of catch up and also for me to get acclimated with recording um, and content creating long form content. I have been on other platforms testing the water to see um, what really sticks and I'm back. <laughs> I'm back to YouTube, my first love. And, you know, I just really need to get just more acclimated with filming long form content because it's completely different than short form content. So it's a lot more, I feel YouTube is a lot more, can build a community um, because again, People over here want one hour vlog. So let's just talk because it's been so long since I've just sat down and talked to you guys. Um, so, you know, I've been just trying to find where, which platform, you know, I should be putting my energy into. Um, as of lately, it's been Instagram, but you guys show me more love here um so again it's about me going where i'm celebrated and where i am being re received right and in other spaces maybe not right now so i'm just still testing the waters my rhythms and just kind of seeing again where i'm being received so i'm back over here to the youtube girlies i do miss you guys i do miss creating long-term content with my camera. Um, it's a lot more complicated because I have a lot of equipment. I have ring lights, I have microphones. Uh, I have this, it's like a mini DSLR compact. It's a Sony V1. So for those of you who know, you know. I tried it in my DSLR for a more compact vlogging camera, but I miss my DSLR. I do because it takes some amazing photos. So I normally, when I do my makeup, I normally sit here and watch other YouTubers, but I figured today I would just come talk to you guys because I'm in a chatty mood. So let's chat. Okay, so first things first, I am about to turn 39, okay, unless than 30 days. My birthday is April 25th. I'm third, I, you know, I'm, I'm approaching 40. Let's just go ahead and call it what it is. It's my last year of my 30s. And it's a pretty interesting time for me because, uh, you know, I am definitely coming into my auntie season. I am an auntie. And I know, you know, some women don't want to be called or addressed as auntie. Uh, and I get it. I definitely get it, but I'm turning 39 this year. So that has been something. And anytime I approach my birthday, I start just kind of doing like introspective work. Am I at where I thought I wanted to be? Uh, you know, I just kind of like do a self-evaluation. And, you know, I don't know. I here Here's the good thing. I was telling my husband, like the women now, the times are so different now. Women now are looking damn good in their 50s. Like I follow, I normally watch Miss Lisa's channel, Lisa Lisa D1, while I'm doing my makeup. Um, because I just love her. She's always had this feminine energy. She's Southern. She has that Southern draw. She just, to me, she's just uh, a good representation of femininity. And that's what I've always liked about her. So I normally watch her channel while I'm getting ready just to get me in that feminine, you know, space. And, you know, she's in her 50s and she looks good. So there are so many women, um, Miss Tina, who, Beyonce's mom, who, and I'm not sure how old she is, but they look good, right? So the notion of this wall <laughs> is just not... I think it just depends on resources. I think it depends on environment. 
um, biology, but mostly resources because there are some resources out there that are just amazing. The technology now is just phenomenal. And just think about how it will be 10, 20 years from now. You may not even need to go under the knife to get a, a procedure done. Like they may be able to do something where they can alter your DNA and bam, you got a boob lift. Like the technology is amazing. I am just in awe. So, you know, approaching 39, right? And coming to a point where I am a seasoned woman, as Sheena would say, I watch Sheena too, I love her videos they're so positive and uplifting and inspiring and that's another thing that I've just been doing I've been you know there are some people that I follow for a long time and unfortunately I just don't align with them anymore I don't align with their message I'm not I can't relate and it's not a bad thing it's just where we are and I've just had to make just conscious decisions to kind of just clean up my algorithm, especially on YouTube, of who I watch and who I don't watch. So just connecting more with like-minded women. I also like to watch our Alexis. Uh, her energy, again, is very infectious. It's just like, she's so happy. She's so bubbly, bubbly. She's in her feminine energy. And, you know, she's also in her masculine because she's working. So these are just some of the women that I've just begin to watch and um, I enjoy watching on this platform. So, oh God, now I need space on my memory card. See, this is why I have to get back to filming YouTube videos because my battery, I just had to replace my battery. Now my memory card is full. Like, it, YouTube is much more complex than TikTok and Instagram because I'm just whipping out my phone, right? YouTube requires production. It requires intention. You you really have to sit down and curate and prepare and make sure your devices are charging. Now, I do know some people do record with their phones, uh, but you know, I'm old school YouTube. Old school YouTube, we had DSLRs. We, but you don't have to have a DSLR. You don't, because these phones now are just as good, but I still have my camera, so I'm like, I'm gonna use what I got, right? Um, because I invested in it and I believed in it. And so did my husband, so. But what I'm trying to say is it's just a lot more. Okay, so we're back. So today I am preparing to go visit my best friend. She's in town from Georgia. And I'm gonna meet my new god baby for the first time, my goddaughter. And we're going to go and we're going to have lunch. So <clears throat> I have a lot planned for today. It's also the day before Easter. I need to um, finish my door. Well, I'm going to do her hair. She has braids. I'm going to do like the um, outer perimeter of her hair because I'm not going to have time to do her forehead before tomorrow. Um, let me see what else. So yeah, I am approaching 39 and again, you know, I don't know if I'm necessarily where, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be. Let me just be honest. A lot of this has to do with my career. I feel so fulfilled in every other area of my life, but my career is where I feel the most unfulfilled. And you know, that's just me being completely honest. I was speaking to someone the other day and I said, I feel like I'm having like a quarter life crisis because I don't know what it is that I want to do. And my mom was like, go do real estate. And, you know, I've thought about real estate earlier in life. Um, I've always been interested in homes and, you know, all of that jazz, but I think, well, I know what I want to do more than anything, at least right now, is I want to be a full-time influencer. It's what I know it sounds so, especially for a 38-year-old to be saying that, like, girl, 
in I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. Like I'm not in LA or Atlanta. You know, I am just a mom of three and a a wife. And honestly, kudos to my husband because he is the reason why I am in a space where I can pursue influencing full time. So that's what I want to do. You know, I had a channel that was like, I was at like 30,000 subscribers. Uh, but now I'm like starting over from scratch. And anytime you have to start over in something, um, the good thing is I have the knowledge, right? I know how to record videos. I know how to edit. So I'm not a novice uh, with creating content, but creating content is definitely, um, like I'm, I'm looking and here's another thing. Like I get so much inspiration from the girls over on Instagram. I don't know. I think these girls are like, I don't know. They don't speak English. Uh, I know one girl I watched was like Russian. Um, but just looking at the different angles as they go throughout their day, they don't talk into the camera. You, you, you're just watching them live their life, right? And I love it. I love their content. So like I'm watching them from the different angles. Like they wake up and you see them waking up and then they go into the bathroom. You see them walking into the bathroom. Like just going about their day-to-day -day stuff. And instead of like narrating what they're doing, they're just showing you, you know? So I've fallen in love in, with that type of content where I'm not necessarily sitting down and just saying, oh, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do that. I'm showing you what I'm doing. So I like that. I wanted to just kind of start off and just kind of give you something so you're not just like, what is going on? But I think that's the direction that I want to go. I want to go with more cine cinematography, like cinema, cinematography. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a lot of syllables, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's, that's the direction that I would like to go into. And I just want to create cool lifestyle. I have some cute pieces from Zara. Okay, let's talk about it because I haven't did like a fashion haul in a minute and honestly it's because when you do fashion hauls you see everything you see every piece of just everything and it's like you will tear yourself up if you're not aware that you are you know like the standard of beauty right like if you're not aware that you're a real woman and the average woman and America wears a size, I don't know what they wear, but it's, it can be kind of quite daunting. Like, I don't wanna, I have to like walk backwards from the camera cause I, <laughs> I don't wanna see my butt. Like, it's just weird. But um, I do have quite a few pieces that I would like to share because Zara has been eating like they've been eating they, they've been like the pieces that they've been coming out with and you know i watch miss lisa and she'll do like a zara haul and i'd be like oh i want that so that's why i like to watch other feminine women because again it's like we are on the same page you know like So yeah, that part. The second part of me being 38, about to turn 39, is my acne. I'm still battling acne and I am almost twice grown. And it had gotten so bad. Like I was just getting these big cystic hormonal acne just all right here, all right here. And you know, I, end up scheduling an appointment to go to a dermatologist because you know at my big age and my fossil age we shouldn't be having no acne right not like that so we came to the agreement that we're going to try accutane now i need to do a little bit more research to see 
if Accutane is something that will work for hormonal acne. I know it works for like your oil, your oil ducts and your sebus and all of that, but I need to see if that's gonna really, you know, do what I need to do because if not, it will defeat the purpose. And it's a pretty gruesome process, right? It's a process. So I had to go and do my first pregnancy test. Um, and they want to make sure that you don't get pregnant. So that's pretty gruesome, right? I think I read that it like alters your DNA. I need to do a bit more research on it, but I have to do like two pregnancy tests and a blood test. I think it takes like three months for you to officially start Accutane and then you stay on it for like a year. Now, because I've had scarring with the Accutane, I've been taking this oral peel called Traminex, something like that. Um, and it's supposed to help with like Malaysia, hyperpigmentation, just all that good stuff. So my plan is to get the acne down pack, get that fixed, and then maybe do like a chemical peel in the winter, right? So that's my plan. So, you know, I've been dealing with that and combating acne and then also, I'm homeschooling both of my children, um, my youngest children. My oldest one doesn't want to homeschool. She's in high school, so she wants to hang out with her friends. But my youngest son has really, really enjoyed homeschooling. So I don't have a lot of time in the day as I used to. Now, I don't know if the homeschooling thing will be permanent. We're just kind of testing it out to see, but so far my, my kids love it. But sometimes it can be difficult just trying to keep them engaged and stuff like that. So we'll see. But that's something new and I'm not going to lie, like homeschooling was something that I was a little afraid of because, you know, I didn't know if I was capable of homeschooling. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, a good one of the good things about homeschooling is obviously you're spending more time with your children. Um, but you're also like relearning a lot of the things that you may have forgotten, like now that you're an adult and you don't have to use this information anymore. So that's one of the benefits of homeschooling. So that's something that, you know, I've been doing and I've been busy with, um, just, you know, getting them acclimated and unlearning a lot of the behaviors that they had to learn in school because homeschooling is a little bit more flexible you know some days we'll go outside and sit out on the back patio and we'll learn out there um you know we don't have eight hour school days uh so they enjoy it you know they really do So yeah, I am using the F Halo Glow. I really like this formula. It's very like, it gives you that dewy glow look. It's very moisturizing and I like the formula. Now in the summertime, it may not be the formula for me because I have oily skin already. But when I set it with a powder, it does look good. It looks pretty good. And it's not, it's like a, um, 
medium coverage, which is buildable. You can build it up eventually to get to a full coverage. But I don't know. I've been doing my makeup just a little bit different lately. I've been going for more of a natural look. Um, now, there are days, okay, where you need to be beat, right? You know, there's a time and place for everything. And there are days where it's like a Monday, you're going to Kroger. I don't need to be beat to the gods, right? I just need a little foundation, a little concealer, you know, some brows and a little mascara. So I don't wear lashes like I used to, mainly because I'm out of them. But even when I have them, I've just been really enjoying a good mascara. So yeah, I am going to show you guys a few pieces that I have gotten from Zara. Um, and the dress that I have on today, I actually found this one. I don't know if you guys have a Nordstrom's rack in your city, but if you do, check it out. The prices are mid, mid. So you're not getting the Nordstrom's, the regular Nordstrom's prices, you're getting like a step below that. Like, I would say on average, their purses are like, and these are like Rebecca Minkoff, Tori Birch, Cake Spade, Kirk Geiger. Uh, so these type of bags where they may retail for like 300, you're gonna get them for about half of that at Nordstrom's Rack. Their clothing, I would say about the $50, $50 mark for a dress or something like that. You know, $25 to $50 probably. And then they have like uh, shoes in there, like New Balances. If you're looking for some running shoes, they have the hookah or the hokas. They have um, the cloud shoes. All of those are in there. And then um, your Steve Madden, or pretty much anything you think of is in there. So it's a good medium price point. And this is really all that I normally do for my makeup. I will put on a little bit of blush just to bring the color. And I have been loving this. I have been loving this Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. I'm going to have to go see if I can find another one because I'm literally hitting pan on this. But I love this peachy color. It just brings, it gives you that child, like, you know how children have like rosy cheeks. It gives you that. It just brings the color back into your face, which can get lost with your foundation and all of that. It's really pretty. So yeah, I like that. So yeah, I'm gonna come and do the Sarah haul. I feel like I have enough pieces to bring you guys. I hope I do. I know I have one. So if it's not all Zara, which I would love to do like a one brand haul. Um, if it's not all Zara, then it will be like Zara, pretty little things. Betsy Johnson, um, I have a few that I could share with you guys. So yeah, this is all I'm gonna do for my makeup. And then my lips, I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner, which is Cork by MAC. And it's just a brown lip liner. Oh, so I went and got filler. I always get filler up here in my forehead. Um, 
and she did a slight brow lift. Uh, and I went to a new girl and the experience. Okay, cause let's just talk about it. The last time I got filler, I got it under eye filler. And when I tell you guys, I'm so glad that it dissolved, but it looked bad. Like, and here's the thing, I'm not trying to compare physicians. The physician that I was going to to get my Botox, he is an MD, but he has like a side practice where he does Botox. Uh, and the new physician's office that I went to today, they strictly just specialize in cosmetic procedures, right? So this is what they do every day, all day. And the experience was just so different. Um, you know, just night and day. And you live and you learn, right? I'm just living and learning like what the environment should look like. Uh, they even sent me a thank you card. So it was just a completely different experience. And she was more on the, okay, let's do this today. Come back in two weeks if you feel like you need more. And we will tweak and adjust. You know, so that was different. Um, she was like, you know, this is more preventive. You really don't need it. Da, 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 da. But, you know, we talked about, she said if she would do anything, it would be like right here. Um, but we talked about maybe some cheek filler or something. I don't know. But I went and I got under eye filler, um, at another office and I will never, I was so scared at first. I was like, oh my God, I done messed up my face. You know, like, it was scary. The good thing about filler is it can be dissolved and it will, your body will metabolize it. But I was like taking my gua sha and just doing that every day and it just kind of went away. But I will never do that again. I will never go with someone you just have to choose the right professionals who know what they're doing. And I'll just leave it there. So my second experience was a lot better, but I didn't get filler under my eye. I just got the regular preventive filler in my forehead. Now, if I were to get anything else done to my face, I, the girls are getting lip fillers and that they're looking good, okay? They're looking good. I see y'all, okay? Y'all are looking good out there. And because as you age, you start to lose volume in your face and in your lips. Like if I were to show you guys some pictures of me when I had my braces, I had these big full lips and they were just, just so luscious and juicy. And now that I've taken my braces off, that top lip is looking real flat. <laughs> So I would get some lips and you know, I'm the type of person where I'll see something and I'm like, okay, like put it in my Rolodex, you know, and it's just kind of like store it for later. And then I'll, you know, just kind of make a decision, which may seem suddenly, but it's really not suddenly because I've been thinking about it. You know, I've been kind of watching and observing and now I've made a decision. So that's how I operate. So I do see some lip fillers in my um, in my future. Uh, but again, this will all be under the supervision of my nurse practitioner or either the physician that works there at that office. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner since I've already done this part. Okay, so I am just being a chatty patty at this point. Um, let me get up. I just wanted to just come back and touch bases on you guys and let you know where I've been, um, where I'm at, at in this season of my life. Uh, 39 is a very interesting year. 38, going into 39. It's the last year of my 30s, right? And 
again, it's just a time of in, introspection, introspection as to what I feel I'm lacking. And for me, it's in the department of my career. And that's just where I'm at. So I wanted to just come and share that for those of you who may also be turning 39 this year, or you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, because you've been there, whatever, whatever. Maybe you can give me some advice um, as to how you kind of got through it, especially if you've pivoted in careers. Uh, it can be a very scary time when you're like stepping out on faith. Um, so that's just where I'm at. But anyway, you guys, let me go see what all I have for the Zara haul. And then we'll kind of touch bases and we'll go from there. 